Welcome back to Atherton on Air. I'm James Leach. I'm Anaya Johnson. And here's what's trending after a long spring break. Did you know that this week is School Lunch Hero Week? No, I wish I could learn more about what goes on during their daily routine. Well, good thing AOA reporter James Leach has provided us all the details. While students are hard at work in the classroom, cafeteria workers are working hard to put food on plates for kids. Let's take a look at the behind the scenes process of how it happens. The workers begin their morning serving breakfast, then preparing the food for lunchtime. For the two kiosk employees, their day starts at 7 a.m. while the rest of the crew arrives at 8. They work diligently to serve four different lunches throughout the day. After serving lunch, they prepare for the next day, leaving school around 1.20 p.m. Faye is the manager of the cafeteria and has worked at Atherton for 21 years. Someone at my previous job told me about the board and I applied. Nice. Been here ever since. What's your favorite part about this job? The students. The school has various vendors that provide food. Creation Gardens brings fresh fruits and vegetables every Tuesday at 6 a.m. Cisco delivers every Wednesday at 6 a.m. Dry foods such as bread are delivered Wednesday as well. Frozen foods like mozzarella sticks are delivered every Friday. Central Kitchen delivers every day when needed. Milk is two times a week. The preparation process takes about two hours. Devin Seabree talked to us about his cafeteria experience. My favorite food is probably the mozzarella sticks. Those just honestly taste the best to me, and I feel like you're getting the Fred's most whenever there. the mozzarella yeah, sticks come. Whenever I'm in the line, all the people in there handing me the food, they're all nice, giving me the juices and stuff. So, but yeah, the mozzarella sticks are definitely my favorite. For At The Ten On Air, I'm James Leach. Thanks, man. We've all seen Mr. Tucker in the hallways and in the classroom, but have you seen him on stage? You may see, be surprised to learn what Mr. Tucker's hobby was in college. AOA reporter William Stone did a background check on Mr. Tucker's past. Do you ever think about what teachers do when they're not in school? Maybe they actually do live at school and all of our eight-year-old selves were right. Or maybe they were in a rock band? Teacher Mr. Tucker is one of many Atherton creatives who did a little bit more than just study after school. This is Hobbies of Atherton. Mr. Tucker, teacher and BSU sponsor, was in a band his freshman year of college at UofL in 1998. Stemming from his childhood in music, he and his college buddies created their band, The Northern Watch. One of his influences included The Smashing Pumpkins, a band he discovered in college. While his love for the arts were always strong, creating the band allowed it to flourish from there. First of all, it gave me so much energy to become a performer, and I think that still comes through now as, as a teacher. Although they were loud songs and, you know, we weren't like a screamo band or anything, but it was a lot of fun. I think that Atherton students should find something like art or music to express themselves because above all, art gives you a way to see inside of yourself in a way that you really can't with any other particular art form. I think that art in general and hobbies in general let you find things that you're passionate about and then explore all of that depth that is existing in all of us. Mr. Reinhardt, fellow teacher and friend of Tucker, also gave us the scoop on the band. Uh, yes, but, well, I will say this, uh, even when he's teaching, he, he, he knows how to put on a performance. Um, but musically speaking, uh, yes, he's definitely in a different mindset. Moral of the story, get a hobby. It's good for you. I'm William Stone, and this was Hobbies of Atherton. Thanks, William. It's a busy week here at Atherton. We have rain ceremony and junior prom coming up. For more information, here's Jay Anderson and Spencer Newton with the hallway headlines. Welcome to the hallway, here's the headlines. The Environmental Club book sale will now be held on Thursday, April 14th after school. Please drop off book donations in room 214 and 223. This Monday, the girls varsity lacrosse team won their game against Valley. Tomorrow is the junior ring ceremony and junior prom. If you're a junior, please make sure to check your Google Classroom for any updates. Library books may not be checked out after the end of April because of IB testing. All books must be returned by April 29th. Well, that's all for the headlines. We'll see you in the hallway. Hi. Spring break is now behind us, and we only have six weeks of school left. How did Atherton students and staff spend spring break? Let's find out. I chill, I played the game, it rained. That's it, you feel me? Well, for my spring break, I actually was working. I'm a member of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, and we had our district meeting here this past weekend, and we had over like 500 people come in, and so I was over registration, so I was making sure everyone got in, got what they needed, and knew where they had to go. Pretty much, I was just chilling in my bed pretty much, practicing my Rubik's Cube, watching some YouTube videos. I got into Harry Potter finally, so just doing stuff like that. Not much though. I went to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 
and I went to the Sugar Cake Factory, and yeah, like I don't know if y'all know that, but it's like a factory, and it's like <laughs> it's like covered. I don't know. It's like decorations, cups, but like cookie monsters. I don't know how to say it. And then we had a beach party. So yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. So thank you, Atherton. We're watching Atherton on air. I'm James Leach. And I'm Anaya Johnson. And keep it rocking, Ravens.